What's going on guys, Matt here with TNM Product Reviews coming back at you with another review. Um, we're going to do a couple items in this review and this one's going to be based around uh, Nintendo Switch items. So me and my wife both have Nintendo Switches and uh, we noticed as you take the, the, the Switch itself out of the box that there's some needs that you will have when you, ha when you get one. Um, and there's thousands of accessories that you can buy for them. We just bought a couple of the basic accessories that we need on an everyday basis. So let's take a look here at some of the items we have. Uh, so first up, we're gonna be looking at the Mumba dockable case. Uh, and I have both of them here for you. So you get two different options here. And all this is, is a, it's a thermoplastic polyurethane polycarbonate. A lot of freaking words but as you can see it's it's semi-flexible um, and you can get it in a multitude of colors uh, you can get it in black lime green blue the purple that I showed you and then a red and all it does is just adds an extra layer of protection for your Nintendo switch and it's really easy to use um, so all you do just find the bottom of the the case here you take your Nintendo Switch and you just kind of set it somewhat into place and then just press the whole way around and the case snaps on. Um, so it's as simple as that to put on and I'll show you how to take it off here in just a minute. But if you look, when the case is on, it actually has these risers here where your, your Joy-Cons would go, which just give you that extra uh, something to grab onto, especially if you're used to coming from like Xbox 360 controllers or PlayStation controllers. Uh, just having this is nice because it gives you a little, little nicer feel, uh, a little bit more ergonomic. And then you still have access to your power, your volume, your card switch or your card slot. Now the one thing that this does take away is it does take away the use of the kickstand on the back of the switch. So you won't be able to use this in tabletop mode anymore. It does kind of set up on its own, but I wouldn't trust it honestly. But it is fully dockable as well. So you have access to the USB-C slot as well as the two uh, holding points on the bottom of the switch. It is, a it is a tight fit, but I have been able to get this to dock and the reason it's dockable as well, you still have access to remove your Joy-Cons. And then you can just slide them right back in. It's as simple as that. And like I said, you have access to your power button and then your volume buttons. Um, take it off. It's just as simple. All I do is I just pull back on the top here. Kind of hard to do in reverse, but... Or in looking away from me but once you push the top out and just put a little pressure on the switch they come right apart so that's the the mumba dockable case uh, you can find these on amazon there's gonna be a link in the description below going cost on these is $22.99 so they're still fairly cheap but they do have that uh, that extra layer of protection just in case you were to drop the switch um, i use it mainly for the the risers on the back of the joy cons but my wife keeps her switch in this all the time just in case our one-year-old would happen to get a hold of her switch it does give it that extra layer of protection um, now both of our switches do have uh, tempered glass screen protectors on them i don't have the information on those but i will throw a link in the description for those that way you guys can look at a nice set of tempered glass screen protectors for these as well. All right, so next up on our list here, this is gonna be an item from Power A. Um, this is my wife's case specifically. So this is a travel case, it's a carry case. Um, and this is the, it's a Nintendo, uh, what is it, Nintendo certified case. This is the Animal Crossing case. So obviously you have Tom Nook and you got the little characters and the colorations on it are of the Animal Crossing 
Um, so you get, with this case, it's a molded, semi-molded case. So if you look on the back here, you can see it's got where the Joy-Cons would be sitting, molded into the back. They do kind of sit down into the case to make it flush. Uh, semi-hard, like it's still, obviously it's still flexible, but it is semi, like a semi-hard case. Um, you get a good set of double zippers. You go the whole way around. And then if you open up the interior, so like I said, it is a molded interior. And what that does is when you sit your switch down in, the Joy-Cons kind of sit down inside the case a little better to keep the switch flush with the bottom part of the case there. Um, actually, I'll show you this while I'm here. So to hold the switch in place so it doesn't rock around while it's in there, it has this flap. Now this does have a screen protector, it's soft padding on it. All you do is flip that down. There's a little Velcro strap here at the bottom that you pull up and that keeps your switch in place, keeps it from banging around if you have anything in this top mesh, zippered mesh pouch. And this is nice because you can keep cords. Um, I have a microfiber towel in there for her. Uh, and I'll show you in another section with a different case that I use. I have a USB cable up in here to charge my switch no matter where I'm at. But you can hold Joy-Cons and a couple other little accessories up here. You can't put too many big things like the, the controller adapter that comes with it that you slide the Joy-Cons in to kind of make them like a PlayStation or Xbox controller, it won't fit up here. There's just not enough room. Uh, now with the screen protector here, if you can see, there are slots here for six games. So you can keep six game cards in the case with you. We don't use game cards, so I don't really have any to show you there. Uh, I think you can get an adapter. It'll actually hold micro SD cards as well. Um, if you have one of the SD card adapters, you can easily sit a micro SD card in there and then slide that down in here. So if you need extra storage for some reason for your Switch, um, both of ours have 128 gig SD cards, so we don't really need them. We download all of our games, but if you are one that has physical copies, physical cards, or you get them for holidays or birthdays or whatever, you know, you have an option to carry six with you with this case. So retail on this case is $19.99 on sale on Amazon. And then you also get an option, or normally, sorry, uh, normally it's $24.99. So it's $25 for the Animal Crossing Nintendo, official Nintendo Switch case. Um, so if you got an Animal Crossing lover in your family, that's definitely a good option if they have a full-size Nintendo Switch. Now this does actually come with a black insert. It will hold a Switch Lite as well. This is the only case that we have that will do that. And I didn't, we don't have a Switch Lite. I didn't really care for the, I didn't care to keep it because we both have the full-size Nintendo Switches but that's an option as well. You can put a switch light in this case. All right, so moving on here. So I have two more options for the next case. It's actually gonna be a fin tie or a fine tie. Um, and these are, they're a little bit more, a little harder cases. They're still kind of the soft pliable case, but these are the uh, carry case hard shells from fine tie. Same thing with these you get a rubberized carry handle and dual zippers on, where's my zippers on this one? On both of them. Um, and obviously there's just two different versions. This one's mine and then we bought one for our one year old because he likes carrying our cases around. Um, they have 14 different designs that you can choose from for the pattern on them. And then they have four solid colors. Uh, solid colors are uh, black, gray, purple, and rose gold. And then this one's just a tiny bit different. When you open it up here, instead of having the flap with the Velcro, this has two elastic straps. And I'll put my switch in here just to show you. Uh, 
So all the plastic straps do is go over the top of the Nintendo Switch. Let's it move just a little side to side, but it's not coming out. So that's how this one secures down your Switch. Um, you also get the screen protector flap. Oops, sorry. You get the screen protector flap so it is uh, soft and padded there. And when you close the case up, I can show this to you, there you go. It folds over the top of the switch. Now on these ones, they do come with the ability to hold 10 of those uh, Nintendo game cartridges. So that's nice, you get a little extra storage with this one. And then just like the a, or Power A case has a zipper mesh pouch in the top. And I have a couple different items up in here. What do I got? So I have my, I got a USB cable from Anchor. And it's sticking to everything because it's Velcro. I got the little microfiber cleaning cloth. And then I actually have my wrist straps with mine as well. Um, and they all fit up in there just fine. You never really hear them moving around, especially with the USB cable in there. Kind of keeps them in place. So, let me try to get this cord back in there. So it's nice to get a little bit of storage up in the case itself. Like I said, the USB cable is a big one for me, making sure that I have power all the time whenever I do take my switch with me, um, which, when I have to do hospital runs for work and I got to sit in the hospital overnight, this little thing comes in handy. Uh, let's see, am I missing anything here? I don't believe so. So, yet again, links for the fin tie or fine tie uh, hard shell storage case will be in the description below. Price range is $23.99 on these. Um, my Switch lives in this thing. Simple as that. Uh, I do have the Mumba heart or shell for all my switch and I use that when my switch is out of the case, but I take my case or my cover off all the time and I keep my switch in here. That way if I need to grab it and go, I can, or if I'm taking it with me uh, to work so that if I do have to go on a hospital run or a long transport and I'm a passenger, I got something to do. It gets boring sometimes. All right guys, so those are the the three different, the, well, two different brands of hard carry cases that we have. Now we're gonna move on to um, a play stand. So this is the Hori Compact Play Stand. And I, what I wanted is something simple that, yet again, if I'm on a hospital run for work, I could roll over one of the hospital tables and set my switch up without the kickstand. The kickstand's not strong. I feel like it's going to break sometimes and sometimes I just want the switch to sit up a little bit higher. So I picked up the Hori compact stand. So as you can see, it folds down nice and flat and this is easy to throw in my backpack. I have a backpack dedicated to doing hospital runs or transports at work. So this fits in pretty much any pocket. It also fits in my cargo pocket and it's real simple. You just, there's a little finger hole here in the back pull it up, stand pops out, and then you have, and then there's a little stand in the front that flips down, and it does hook onto the switch. Let's see if I can get you to see that right there. That'll actually hook onto the switch itself. And you have three different levels of adjustment. So you have a 30, a 50, and a 60 degree, or I'm sorry, 30, 50, and 60 degree, um, angle that you can set the switch in so you know it doesn't look like that is a preferred angle but sitting on a table if you're sitting up up at the table this is like perfect viewing right here and it does have these little rubberized grips on the bottom to keep it from sliding around on the table the other nice part that i like and one of the problems that i ran into doing hospital runs was i needed a way to be able to charge my switch without having it in handheld mode. So when you have the Joy-Cons on, you're playing, that's fine, you can charge it, but I like to have it sitting on a table and you can't charge it with the kickstand. So the nice part about this is there is 
two different holes here in the back. The bottom one specifically is the one I use. And then there's a hole in the front here to run a charging cable through. And then that hole's cut out to match the USB C port on the bottom of the switch. So as simple as that, you take, after you're done charging it, take the cord out. It does have little rubberized feet up here too. I didn't even notice those. That helps keep the switch from moving around on it. Um, fold the stand up. It does kind of snap into place to hold it, hold it together. And that's easy to throw in a bag or in a pocket. Simple as that. Um, now you can get this in four different styles. So this is the black. Um, you can also get it in the Nintendo official Mario Red. It has a big M here on the bottom for the Mario. You can get it in Pikachu, which is black with yellow lighting bolts, and then there's like a figure of Pikachu on it. And you can get it in Zelda, uh, which has, up here it has the Zelda emblem, and there's something down here as well, and it's kind of like gold gold paint. Uh, so different, a couple different options. And price on these is nice because it's only $12.99 for a simple little case. I know there's other ones that I was looking at that had USB ports on the side so you could hook up uh, chargers and on the go uh, adapters for there's the switch up, the Nintendo switch up where you can use like 360 and PS4 controllers and Xbox One. Those are nice and I would probably buy one of those for here at the house but for on the go at work this is as simple as I wanted. So that is the Hori Compact Play Stand. And like I said, guys, everything that I'm reviewing here today is going to have a link down in, this, in the description. So the last item we're going to show you is um, something that's a little bit more pricey. Uh, this is a product that I purchased for my wife for Christmas, and I want to share it with you guys. I've seen them from other YouTubers that I watch do reviews, and I love the work this guy does. This is a company called Colorware. Uh, they do custom custom painted products or stickers. Um, so you can get sticker skins for a couple different products. And the ones we have are for the Switch here, are the Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons. And if you can see there, they are in the Animal Crossing colors. Um, so what he does is, like I went on and I purchased a full set. So I paid the price of the Joy-Con plus the work. Um, and they are painted. These are not covers that went on this. These are actually painted. And the just the paintwork on them is awesome. Um, no flaws at all. Uh, couldn't find anything wrong. The Joy-Cons worked immediately for the price I would hope so. Uh, for this set of Joy-Cons specifically, I had all four pieces painted. So I had both Joy-Cons and the wrist strap adapters painted. It was $159 without tax. Um, and then I got a couple other items with it. And I'll show you the other item here that I have. Uh, now, if you just want the Joy-Cons themselves painted without painting the wrist straps, it's $149. So it's $5 for each wrist, wrist strap. So, and then he sends them in the retail packaging. I was kind of concerned because when I opened the box from him, there were two, or there was a box for gray Nintendo Joy Cons. But when you open them up, you get the, the painted product that he sent. Um, now, because they are painted, um, he does offer his own. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus on it there. There we go. So, this is the Colorware Color Clean. So it's a, it's a specialized cleaner that won't damage the paint work that's on the controllers. And he also sends along a little microfiber cloth for cleaning them. So if they do get dirty, you have an option to clean them up. So that is the item itself. Now, Colorware doesn't just do Nintendo Joy-Cons. You can actually have your, you can actually purchase an entire Nintendo Switch from Colorware. So you can get the Switch, the dock, and the Joy-Cons all custom painted. He has a ton of selection of colors, both in solid and metallic. Um, some of the solids have matte options as well. Like those controllers there are both matte options. So he does 
paint and stickers. So the stickers, if you have like a Samsung or an iPhone, uh, you have a MacBook Pro, the Switch, the Switch dock, the Joy-Cons, you can actually purchase a pre-cut sticker that will actually, when you get it, you just apply it to the Joy-Con. I don't like the stickers. I've used them on other items before. If it's something that I'm going to be handling and I'm going to be running my fingers across, I don't like the stickers. They like to peel up. Now for the dock, I could understand putting a sticker on it. It's going to sit in one place. No big deal. Uh, now he does do custom or custom products for Apple. So he does the iPhone, the AirPods, he does the MacBook Pros, and I think that's it for Apple. He does Samsung cell phones, the Samsung earbuds. I think that's it for Samsung though. He does the Nintendo, he does PS4 and Xbox One X. Now a lot of those are gonna be skins. I don't think he does custom colors. Now you can get controllers from him though. So you can purchase a custom painted controller from him. He also just, uh, he has four Logitech items, three mice and a keyboard on his website as well. I didn't look into it if it was stickers or paint, but that's an option as well. And then he does Beats. So he does the Beats headphones, the earbuds, and then the Beats pill. Uh, so he has a, a, a wide range of stuff. He does 16-bit for the Nintendo Joy-Cons and the Switch itself. So if you're into that classic NES style, he does the 16-bit colors as well. And I will have a link to his website in the description below. Check them out. These things are worth the price, honestly. All right, guys. So that is the overview of some of the Nintendo Switch products that we use here in our household every day. Um, I hope you guys like the video. If you do, hit that like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notified of any new videos that I have coming out. And we'll see you guys later.